morning students last previous classes we have learned about light we started about light no so in this light lesson we learned the reflection of light what are the laws of reflection we have learned no now the spherical mirror spherical mirrors are in two types what are they concave mirror and convex mirror what are the two types of spherical mirrors concave mirror and the convex mirror now uh, we draw a diagram ray diagram also by you see the concave mirror this is the concave mirror and the principal axis this line is called principal axis p means pole and f capital f principal focus small f focal length principal focus written here and the focal length f means small f focal length capital f principal focus and the c center of curvature or R, C and R same. R means what radius of curvature. C means center of curvature. We have learned about this diagram last section. Now, now this the uh, incident ray. Incident ray passes through the spherical mirror. Spherical mirror, which mirror? Concave mirror. After reflection, what happens? It, it focus. It converts to the principal focus here. So this concave mirror is also known as converging. Concave mirror is always known as what? Converging mirror. Why we are saying converging mirror means when the light falls on the concave mirror, it after reflection it will converge. Where it will converge? Principal focus. So we will say the concave mirror is called another name what? Converging mirror. Okay. Then by using this formula, we can find the focal length or equal to 2F. R means what? Center of curvature. F focal length. Small f focal length. Capital of the capital of principal focus. Small f what is that? Focal length. From here we can find focal length means how we find f equal to r by 2. What is r? R means radius of curvature. F means what? Focal length. This is everything we have learned last section. Now today we can learn how to certain rules of that to draw a Ray diagram, certain rules are there. You can see what are the rules followed to draw a ray diagram. Now, what if you take your uh, scale, pencil, and note? What if you take scale, pencil, and note? See, first, a ray diagram starting first. Which line want to draw? Principal as is. This is the principal as is. A line. A straight line you have to draw as a principal axis. Now we can draw the concave mirror. This concave mirror. This polished surface. Plucking surface. Now here principal focus we have and the center of curvature. See. So the principal axis if you draw means what under the principal focus and to center of curvature or radius of curvature. Anyone you have to write this. C means what? Center of curvature. Now see when the ray passes through the here from the ray passes through the center of curvature. When the ray passes through the center of curvature and the strike light falls on the where to fall? Fall on the concave band. After reflection what happens means it should not deviate anywhere and the same line will it passes through. So see the arrow mark. First a ray passing through the center of curvature. After reflection the same line will it passes through. Without any deviation. Okay. Without any deviation the same line it passes through. This is the rule number one. Okay. First rule. When a ray passes through the center of curvature of a concave mirror. After reflection, the same line it passes through without any deviation. This is the first rule. Then second rule. Second rule, just you have draw a principal axis. Then draw a concave mirror. Same, the same concave mirror. What are there here? Principal focus, center of curvature. Okay. Now, when a ray passes through the concave mirror, a incident ray passes through the arrow mark like this, the incident ray passes through a concave mirror. After reflection, it passes through the principal focus. 
and the norm. Now the normal ray passes through the center of the picture. Normal ray passes through the center of the picture. Okay. This arrow mark here. See the arrow mark? See the arrow mark. Now this second rule. Second rule, when your ray, this ray, incident ray is there now. This ray parallel to the principal axis. A ray parallel to the principal axis and falls on a concave mirror. After reflection, it will falls through a principal focus of a concave mirror. Okay, the second rule. Third rule. This mirror. The principal axis, what is there? Principal focus and the center of focus. Principal focus and the center of curvature is there now. So, here when your ray passes through the principal focus of a concave mirror, arrow mark like this, after reflection, it will emerge parallel to the principal axis. It will emerge parallel to the principal axis. So, normal from through here only normal. Normal line passes through the set of okay. So this is the third. See the first, uh, second rule, uh, the uh, incident ray parallel to the principal axis or uh, in severity incidents, incidents on a concave mirror after reflection passes the principal focus of a concave mirror. Now here the incident ray passes through the principal focus of a concave mirror. After reflection, it will emerge parallel to the principal axis. It will emerge parallel to the principal axis. This is the third rule. Then fourth rule. Only four rule only there. Fourth rule. So this is the principal focus, center of curvature. Now when a ray passes through the pole of a concave mirror, this is the pole, pole of a concave mirror. After reflection, it passes through the next side. So this is the four. There are four rules to draw a ray diagram. First rule is a ray passes through the center of curvature. After reflection, it will passes through the same line without any deviation. Then second diagram, uh, first you can draw the principal axis. A ray parallel to the principal axis for, falls through a con concave mirror. After reflection, it falls, falls through, passes through principal focus. Then third uh, diagram, a ray passes through the principal focus of a concave mirror. After reflection, it emerges parallel to the principal axis. Then fourth one, it passes through the pole, pole of a concave mirror. And after reflection also, it will passes through the next side of the So these are the four rules followed in the to draw a ray. Can you understand students the four rules? This is very very important. This rule now means next to you can draw a ray diagram that easily you can understand. So all of you understand the four rules. Next, we can see how to draw a ray diagram. Okay. Now, you know the rules. Then, now we can see how to draw a ray diagram. See, first, this is the this line called principal axis. This is the principal focus, the center of curvature. Principal focus and the center of curvature. Then, draw a mirror. Concave. This all of you know. This is common for all the ray diagram. Okay. Now, when a ray, when a ray passes through the, this incident ray passes through the concave mirror. After reflection, where it will fall? It falls through the. Which way it want to go? It falls through the principal focus. So this is the first step. Okay. Now here the principle here the object is in infinity. Infinity only we get the object. Infinity means what? We cannot find the distance. Okay, that only infinity. So the object is in infinity. We will get to the image at the focus here. So you can write object infinity image. 
had to focus here. So object where it is at infinity, image you will get at the focus here. A point says diminished to point says image only you get. Why means the object is infinity, which image itself we don't know. So far distance object. So the image you will get a point. The sound our, our image is there. Like that you will get a point, diminished point says image you get. Okay. The next diagram. Second diagram. Principal as is. Principal focus, central. Now, the object in between C and F. C means what? Central curvature. F, principal focus. The object in between C and F. Is an object in between C and F. So, we can draw from this object. A ray passes through the concave. Then what happens after reflection it passes through the principal focus. Another one ray passes through the principal focus and after reflected the much parallel to the principal axis. So this place only will get to the image. We'll get to the image. Now see. Object where it is object in between C and F. Image where you will get to beyond the C. So you can write here object uh, in between C and F. Image beyond the C. So object in between C and F, image will get to beyond the C. We have to draw this diagram. The object in between C and F, image where will get to beyond the C. This is the second diagram. First diagram, the object is in infinity. The image where will get to at the focus. Now we can draw next to third diagram. diagram. See this is the principal axis. Here point A mother. Principal focus here and the center of curvature C. Object where it is beyond the C. The object is beyond the C. Where you will get the image you can see. First from the object draw a line in center and it passes through the principal focus. So aroma plates. Then another one ray passes through the center of curvature. And here only you get to that. So image where you get means between C and F. And the object where it is beyond C. Here see object in between C and F. Image you get to beyond C. Just opposite. So you can write here object. Object where it is beyond C. between C and F. Object beyond the C, image in between C and F. Okay. So there's two diagram just in the change. Okay. Here object in between C and F, image beyond the C. Here object beyond the C, image will get to C and F. So this type of draw diagram very very important you have to. The next diagram Then this principal focus, center of curvature. Object, center of curvature. Now just to draw a diagram, it passes through the principal focus. Another one diagram. So you will get the image also the same point. Object also at the C, image also at the C. So here see this diagram. Object also at the C, image also at the C. Object. Image 
object also at the C, image also you get it. So like this you have to draw it. Another one more diagram also there, ray diagram. Contain error, principal focus, then the object in which the principal focus and the pole is very very important. See the object here, object in between the principal focus and the pole. Now array passes through and after reflection it passes through the principal focus. Another one ray passes through the center of pole. Now here, here you will get the image beyond the pole. See here, uh, everywhere inverted image you get, no? Here you will get to the same image, enlarged image. When compared to objects, the image is enlarged, enlarged image. Other everywhere you get to the inverted image. See the object upward around our place, image where you get to downward. There are also objects and so now we are object here, same size, same size, uh, enlarged image. Just opposite the side of the mirror will be there. So these are the image formations of the object. Now mirror rotation. We can learn mirror rotation. The formula is 1 by F equal to 1 by U plus 1 by U. What is this? Mirror rotation. formula 1 by f equal to 1 by u plus 1 by u. What is here? F means what? Focal land. Focal land. What is u? U means image object distance. Object distance. B image distance. Image Mirror equation, first you know how to write the equation 1 by f equal to 1 by u plus 1 by u. What is the formula? 1 by f equal to 1 by u plus 1 by u. F means what? Focal length, u, object distance, and the b image. Okay. Well, suppose in this diagram, how will you find the object distance? So, this is the object now. We are object in between C and this is the object. How will you find the object distance from here to the object? Image will get it beyond C. So this object distance will say as U and image distance, the image distance we have to find. So focal length is what? Focal length, the distance between the pole and the principal focus only. One second, uh, focal length. So we have small here, focal length, U, object distance and the image distance. So the mirror rotation we can learn and the what are the images formation of the content. Okay, so far we have learned uh, what are the rules of rules to draw a ray diagram and uh, how to draw a ray diagram we have learned and uh, uh, mirror rotation. So this important formula by using this no problems are there. So we have to find out the formula by using this. So F means what? Focal and U, object distance, B, image distance. So 1 by F is equal to 1 by U plus 1 by B. F means what? Focal and U means object distance, B. Next one is the uh, Cartesian. Sign conversion software. How to measure the distance? By using sign conversion. Just we can learn. So here, what is this line called? Principal as it is all of you know. No. This principal as is taken as x axis and this mirror. So this mirror is taken as origin. Origin is what? 0, 0. Mathematics you have learned. No. Origin. X also 0, Y also 0. So 0, 0 only what's that origin? That pole. We can take pole as the origin. Okay. Pole here we will mention pole now. This is the principal axis, this pole. So the principal axis is taken as x axis. So this is the x axis. 
and the pole is taken as the origin. Isn't that clear? Understand? Principal axis is taken as the x-axis and the pole is taken as the origin. So origin means so zero comma zero, x also zero, y also zero. Okay. Now let's suppose object. This is the object. Okay. Object is always kept at the left side of the mirror. Okay. The object is always kept at the left side of the mirror. Suppose you get the image. Okay. Image. The object also there, image also there. Understand? Now the incident ray from this object only the ray passes through. Now suppose the incident ray that passes through. The incident ray in this direction means we take as positive. Then opposite direction, the incident ray opposite direction is take as negative. Okay? The incident ray, the this direction only passes through. Rules are there. The incident ray passes through this direction. So this. Uh, incident ray will take us positive. The opposite direction of the incident ray is called the negative. Okay, we can take us negative. Now, this is the principal axis perpendicular. This is everything perpendicular. No, you all know perpendicular is this one. So, this per the distance perpendicular to the principal axis above the principal axis is taken as positive, and the perpendicular distance below the principal axis is taken as negative. So, these are the partition sign, sign conversions in the Uh, find it. Okay. So, so uh, how to find the, the distance? All the distance measured from the pole to object. What is the U? Okay. Denote the letter U. Then pole to image. Denote the letter U. Like that only you will measure the focal length. So the mirror formula is what? Now one by F equal to one by U plus. So like that we have to find. Okay. The object distance, image distance, focal length. The other thing. You know, be centimeter or meter. Sometimes meter also question given, so you have to write a unit meter. Sometimes centimeter is given, you have to write the centimeter. Okay. So, how do you understand this? Uh, this uh, principal axis is taken as x axis and the origin is taken as y axis. And here incident ray is what? Then my incident ray uh, direction is positive. Opposite to the incident ray direction is negative. Okay. Then the perpendicular, the distance perpendicular to the above the principal axis is taken as positive, and below the principal axis is taken as negative. Okay. Let's make a look now. The next one, magnification. How will we find the magnification? You see, magnification means the height of the image. To the height of the object. This we can take height one and the height. Okay. Height of the image to the height of the object. Magnification. Height of the image to the height of the object. So this we can write b by u also. Okay. M equal to b by. So the magnification is of the height of the image to the height of the object. So there is no unit in the magnification. Magnification has no unit. What is the unit of magnification? There is no unit of magnification. Okay, so we have this in this class. What are that we have learned? How to? Uh, what are the rules to draw a uh, image a ray diagram? And how to draw the ray diagram? Then mirror image we have learned. Uh, then magnification and the sign conversion also. Okay, now we can mark the question. Take a look. Room letter eight, question number one. Complete the diagram to show that a concave mirror forms the image of an object. Next to B question, what is the nature of the image? Here on ray diagram is given. You have to complete. What is this line called? Principal axis. What is this concave mirror? Here the object given. Where it is object? Object in between C and F. So image where you should get beyond C, you will get no image. So the same diagram. Page number seventy. It is given. Page number seventy. Diagram D. See the object is between C and F. You will get the image beyond C. You have to draw this image. D part. What is the nature of the image? Real, inverted, and magnified. Write it. Real, inverted, and magnified. Real, inverted, and magnified. Next year, question number five. Write the spherical mirror formula and explain the meaning of each symbol used in it. Page number seven. The expression relating the distance of the object u, distance of the image v, focal length f. The spherical mirror is called mirror image. The mirror formula is how to write one by f equal to one by u plus one by v. 
Question number 4. What is mean by magnification? Write its expression. What is the sign for real image and virtual image? Page number 71. The magnification can be defined as the ratio of the height of the image to the height of the object. So, m equal to h1 by h2. The magnification can be related the distance object u and the image distance v. So, m equal to minus v by u. So, m equal to h1 by h2. Or h i divided by h o. That is equal to minus v by u. The negative sign in the value magnification indicates the image is real. Image real means negative sign. The positive sign the value image magnification indicates the image is virtual. Yes, yes. Next to Rome letter 8. A. Draw a ray diagram to show how the image is formed using a concave mirror. When the position of the object is at C. Between C and F, between F and P of the mirror. That's page number 69. Page number 70. The C, diagram C. See the object also at C, image also at C. This diagram. Then second one, the object in between C and F. And the image you will get beyond C, this diagram. The last diagram. The object in between the pole and the principal focus, the object you will get to beyond this mirror. Like this, see three diagram you have to draw. For some questions we have marked. The assignment question, room letter 8, the question number 1. Ray diagram you have to draw. And room letter 7, first question. Room letter 7, first question. Room letter 8, first question. You have to uh, draw and write the assignment. Then mirror application you have to learn 1 by F you get to 1 by U plus 1 by U. 1 by the next plus you can see remaining portion. So this much you have to learn the number. Then this much.